Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make a mode 10 counter using 4026. So let's get started. For this we need IC 4026 and common cathode 7 segments display. It has 7 inputs A, B, C, D, E, F, G and these inputs are connected to 4026 through 330 ohm resistors so we need 7 of them and its common pin is connected to ground. Now A is connected to pin number 10 B is connected to pin number 12 and like this we have to connect them all it's pin 16 and 3 both are connected together and then these are connected to plus VCC and it's pin number 8 and 2 both are connected together and these are connected to ground pin number 1 is clock input pin so we have to provide clock pulse to the pin number 1 and we will provide clock pulse through push to 1 switch and the other side of the switch is connected to plus VCC and pin number 1 is connected to the ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor and we have another resistor and we have to connect one LED the value of the resistor is 220 ohms now whenever we press the switch this LED will glow and pin number 15 is connected to ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor and we will provide plus 5 volt as VCC. So this is the circuit for mode 10 counter. Now let's see this on the breadboard. Put the IC 4026 7 segments display. Its common pin is connected to the ground. Pin number 16 and pin number 3 is connected to the plus VCC. Pin number 8 and 2 both are connected to the ground. Pin number 15 is connected to the ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor. Pin number 1 is connected to the ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now put the 330 ohm resistor. Ok, now see this. This resistor for segment A, this one for B, C, D, E, F and G. Resistor A is connected to the pin A of the display. B is connected to the pin B of the display. C is connected to the pin C of the display. D is connected to the D, E is connected to the pin E of the display, F is connected to the pin F of the display, G is connected to the pin G of the display, ok. Resistor A is connected to pin 10, B is connected to pin 12, C is connected to pin 13, D is connected to pin 9, E is connected to pin 11, F is connected to pin 6, and G is connected to pin 7 of the IC ok now put the switch one pin of the switch is connected to the plus VCC another pin of the switch is connected to the pin number 1 of the IC 220 ohm resistor is connected to pin number 1 one LED is connected to the resistor and cathode of the LED is connected to the ground now connect both the positive rail and the negative rail now put the power supply, here is our negative and it is positive. Now provide clock pulse through the switch. Ok it is working. Now I am adjusting the camera just out of focus so you can see it better. So as it is mode 10, so it will count from 0 to 9, ok. Now you can provide clock pulse from the IC555 or any other microcontroller. So this is the clock generation circuit with 555 and I have already explained how to make this circuit and how to add this with 4026 in previous video, link in the description below, ok.
now connect both the positive rail also the negative rail now the only thing you need to do is connect pin number 3 of the 555 to the pin number 1 of 4026 ok now put the power supply here is your negative and it is positive ok now as you can see whenever the pulse gets high the counter is incremented by 1 so guys this is how you can make a mode 10 counter using 4026 so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching